So yesterday, I had a couple of god modes arrive. As you might be able to tell, these frames utilize a 3D printed canopy. There's two options for the canopy. This one is the GoPro one. It's got, I believe, a 30 degree GoPro angle. Uh, you strap it through there and you can put your GoPro on top. Very simple. And then there's the shark fin. So this one's designed for turtle mode. So when you're landing in grass like that, it's supporting the motors quite a lot there. You've got quite a bit of distance and it helps keep it out of the grass. Uh, this will do the same thing a little bit too. It has a similar effect, although it'll fall on the back motors a bit more. Uh, so it won't be as good. But of course you can chuck a GoPro on there or some sort of HD camera mount to get similar effects to the fin. Uh, you just lose a bit of the flight performance. The first thing I noticed when I went to build this frame was I picked up my 2mm driver and it doesn't work, it doesn't fit. Uh, and I found this quite nice. They use a 2.5mm head on the screws. So I can use my 2.5mm driver. Now it won't turn, that's better. And that means that you can get a lot more torque on the bolt without worrying about stripping it as easily. Uh, I also like it when motors and things include that. Anything where you have to really tighten it down, like you do have to to tighten down arms like this, uh, I love having the 2.5mm head instead of the more standard 2mm head that's used on a lot of frames and motors. I can't comment too much on the carbon quality, it's just cut and sent to you. Uh, it's pretty good for what it is though, it's very strong from what I've seen. And you do get a spare arm with the frame, so I've got two extra arms now because I bought these two. Looking in from the side here, you can see all the arms bolt on just about here, which means the arms are very short. You can see they just go in right there. And they go between these two plates, which allows you a massive space for your battery straps through here. And your strap does not get in the way of your stack. These are 15mm standoffs, and in this new version of the frame that's been recently released, so anything you buy now will be shipped with these, you get these nice flared standoffs too. Anyway, these ones are 15mm, they're also available in 20mm, and there's actually quite a lot of space to build your stack in there. So you get 15mm plus this little bit that's cut out in the canopy here. Uh, so it's not too tight of a build. The camera in these goes in the front there, there's two holes just here, which you can put the screw through, and your camera will sit up the front. It has to be a micro-sized camera, of course, to fit in this little spot here. And the lens will stick out the front. You get pretty good adjustability there. You can go to quite a low camera angle. And you've got no limits, really, on how high it can go. You'd probably have no problem going to 80 degrees or something like that. So for anything you're doing racing or freestyle, you've got full adjustability of the camera. Also, the way that the lens sits is uh, it's right about there when you have it screwed in. Uh, so if it rolls on something, it's, it'll be quite well protected. It does not stick out the front. It's also got these angle indicators. Uh, I'll have to clarify what actual angles those three refer to. Anyway, that's how the camera looks, just sitting in the front there. Another important feature of these canopies is this back bit right here. You can see there's a few holes. So this big one here is to put your antenna through. This will be this right here. Uh, so you can use like an MMCX or UFL antenna and stick it right through there. And then these two holes are to put a zip tie through and the antenna will sit coming out the back just like that. And that'll be very nicely protected because it'll be sitting flat in the frame and also it's got the fin in front of it. And in this case, possibly your HD camera. So you're pretty much never going to break an antenna by using this setup. Oh, and by the way, these are TrueRC Axie antennas which are also sold by Quad Racer in both MMCX and UFL. Now for some weights. In its current configuration, which is how you'll get it if you buy it right now, it comes in at 55.1 grams. And this is the version with the old standoffs. 53.8. So these new standoffs are just a tiny bit heavier. GoPro canopy is 15.3 grams. Fin canopy, 13.6. Current frame with the new standoffs and the fin canopy is... 68.6 .6 there, and let's add in the four screws that will be holding the canopy on. Comes to 71.3 grams, so it's about 70 grams for the whole frame. And then this one, 73, so just a couple of grams heavier for the GoPro mount. So in summary, the pros and cons of the God Mode, 2.5mm hex head screws, a neat little GoPro seat, or a shark fin for turtle mode, one spare arm with each frame, and also these arms cost $4 Australian, about $3 US 
USD a piece, so they're pretty cheap to get replacements. A massive battery strap hole that's separate to your stack. It can handle both 20x20 20 20 stacks and 30.5x30.5 30 30 stacks. You've got different mounting holes right there. These nice circular cutouts. You could zip tie something between here and there if you wanted, uh, like a capacitor or your battery leads. It uses sleek black press nuts right here and they come pre-installed with all the god modes from now on. And you've actually got quite a bit of space to build a stack in there, given that that's 15 millimeters plus an extra five to seven millimeters extra because of this cutout here. You should be able to make an even taller stack. And once you've built up past the height of there, you've still got quite a bit of space in here where you can fit small things like your receivers and video transmitters. And of course, it's downright sexy. I, I actually, I really love how this thing looks and it's going to go really well on my quad wall. Same with this one. This transparent white is also made to be used with LEDs, so I'm going to be putting LEDs in here and having it light up in various colors. One last thing is the arms here. This screw going through the standoff goes through this right here. So it does not have a screw that actually goes fully through that hole. The arm will still pull right out, which means you only have to unscrew this screw that goes into the press nut to swap them. So these arms are very, very easy to change. After trying many frames, I've been able to point out flaws in most of them, and so far the god mode solves a lot of those things. Uh, it pretty much deals with everything, and um, you have no problems with the antennas, the arm changing, the battery strap, whatever stack you want. Overall, I think it's almost a perfect frame. Uh, at this stage, I can't pick anything that I would like to change, so for me, it's the perfect race frame right now. I might experiment with some other stuff in the future, but I'm very glad to have two of them right here to build up. Thanks for watching. If you want to buy one of these frames, check out the store, see how they started, all that kind of stuff. You can check the links in the description to quadracer.com.au, and I will see you guys in the next one.